Hello, I'm Susan Arbuckle. I'm a senior perinatal pathologist at the Children's Hospital at Westmead. Today, I'm going to teach you a step-by-step -step method of taking a sub-amniotic swab in a case where you think a placenta may be infected. To begin with, you need to wear protective clothing. I'm wearing a gown, however you may wear an apron if you so desire. I wear glasses, so it protects my eyes from any splashes. You'll also need to wear gloves as a protection. We use disposable rubber gloves. These need to be applied for your protection. They do not necessarily need to be sterile. Equipment needed includes forceps, scalpel, and in our hospital, a microbiology swab and media. The amnion is not connected to the chorion. You can easily pick up the amnion make an incision in the amnion, and as you can see, it is easily torn and pulled back. The amniotic hole you have made can easily be enlarged and the swab inserted so as not to touch the edges of the amnion, which are not sterile. The swab is taken of this surface between the amnion and chorion, where the bacteria which will potentially cause infection in the mother and the child will be. The swab is then carefully taken out of the hole, not touching the, the sides. Using the media supplied in our hospital, the top is removed and the swab carefully inserted into the tube and sealed. In summary, you need to wear gloves and protective clothing, assemble the equipment you need, cut the amnion, enlarging a hole, swab under the amnion, and then place the swab into the media that your microbiology department uses. Mm -hmm.